Well, I think DC Comics woes are uh, really hitting an apex at this point. We've got this Zaslav guy who is taking out all of these big feature films and shows that are pushing that SJW agenda, which are not selling. Nobody wants to see it. And uh, DC Comics, the comic division, is now going so far into their nonsense, uh, into stuff that really nobody wants to look at. You, you got to think they're going to be on the chopping block soon. Uh, we've heard the rumors for a long time, and I think uh, I'm excited for this new era, like where you're going to be able to like license out DC Comics characters. I've never understood actually why, why corporations haven't like put this up there, like just offer a, a, a license like and like a, a publishing service or something like that, where you you can make your own stuff with these characters. They take 10% or something like that, uh, and they just don't care. Like, uh, at this point, like, a lot of these brands are so torched. Like, why not just give it to independent people to do that? It'd be an interesting business model uh, to see that happen. But uh, I don't know why. They haven't done that. They're not, uh, they're not forward-thinking, these corporations, as much as they pretend to be progressive, right? <laughs> and we're going to get to that in just a second. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. I've got my Overmind pre-order store here. This is my graphic novel. This is my new universe. Awesome stuff. Uh, 66 pages of science fiction fun with like a Flash Gordon adventure style uh, sort of book. We've also got a novel that's paired with this, and it's, you know, it's going to be an awesome universe going forward. We've got a lot of stories uh, going forward with Ayla Rin, the character here, uh, and I think it's a great time to jump on. This is our first book with it, and uh, everybody who's read it so far in the digital form says it's fantastic, so you can check it out too. Uh, we are going to print with this very shortly, and uh, we have hit over $39,000 in sales. I'd love to get to 40000 If you guys want to push us there, uh, we can do that, so uh, hit that link in the description below. Support the channel, my friends. I appreciate you guys being there. All right, here it is. You want to talk about cringe. DC's Saved by the Bell Reeve one-shot. Uh, so they're trying to reference Saved by the Bell because reference member berries, you know, that uh, that 80s show, of course. And then Saved by the Bell Reeve is their, is their like, non-binary something character. I think they introduced her in Supergirl or something like that. Uh, very pointless. The whole point of the character was to go, I'm non-binary, gender. Uh, and there really wasn't much else to it. And uh, sure enough, uh, from what I've seen here, uh, thank you, Spencer, from Bounding Into Comics for writing this up. Uh, it's much of the same. So, oh, gosh, look at this art. Oh, my gosh. This is what DC's denigrated to, my friends. But you go into this, and uh, you see them, of course, uh, you got some boys going into uh, school, and uh, they're going to bully the non-binary. Here it is. Yes, everybody gets bullied over gender. That's how reality works these days it's so cringy to look at but then it goes even further and here we go um i changed my name to sydney last year i felt like the name my parents gave me was locked into traditional gender that really didn't feel was who i am i'm non-binary yes because people talk like this <laughs> my god what does that mean it means that some people feel like they're a mix of both genders. That's called mental illness, my friends. <laughs> While others feel like they identify with either gender. How do you identify, Sydney? <laughs> I identify with both. I use they, them pronouns. How fun is this? I mean, can you imagine picking up like a Superboy or a Robin comic and being like, yes, this, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> my God. It's so cringy. It's amazing. They? Some non-binary people, like me, use gender-neutral pronouns, they and them, instead of she, her, or he, him. Does that kind of help? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it kind of helps nobody. Um, and honestly, it, it's such a, like, fake representation. So, I mean, the whole point of, of these, like, fake pronouns and all that is for somebody to go on Twitter and you go... Uh, this guy, blah, 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 blah. And they go, I'm not a guy. I'm a they, them. Ah! And then they click a uh, report on you to try to get your account banned, right? Uh, it seems like a just uh, a shrieking cry for attention all the time. It's not somebody helpfully explaining to people uh, uh, how this works uh, when it doesn't actually work this way. Uh, it's very obvious. Uh, you either uh, have... Uh, uh, one type of genitalia or the other type of genitalia. 
Uh, I think there are like hermaphrodite uh, people out there who, who have that have that problem, but you're talking 0.00001% of the population. Uh, this is all about uh, weirdos uh, who are out there going like who can't process uh, what they are, I guess, and that's what they're trying to push at DC Comics. I just don't see how there's an audience for this. Uh, I don't see who they're trying to appeal to. Uh, nobody with money is interested in buying this sort of thing. It's not interesting for a story. The character's not interesting. They don't actually have a plot or anything else to them other than the fact that they keep telling people they, them, instead of she, her. It's like, God, how cringy can you possibly get? But that's why there's an alternative, and that's why we're winning so much here over in the culture war. I really think we are. I think these companies are on the last gasp. They can't really push this further. It's not shocking to audiences anymore because they really rely on like the shock of the first gay marriage or whatever, uh, which is all all behind us. Uh, so that shock is gone. Uh, so when they pull these identity politics tricks that they try to replace their stories with, uh, it's really just like something that is turning people off at this juncture. It's not even making much news anymore. Uh, even though we're covering it for the laughs, uh, I don't. I don't really think that anybody's really uh, going and buying and getting CGC graded copies of this. You know, I mean, come on. So that's it. What do you think about this, my friends? Are you laughing with me? I hope you're having a good Labor Day. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to check out Overmind. See you soon.